Hi Reefers and welcome back to MQ Reef. Uh, this is 146 gallon mixed reef and um, I'm enjoying its growth. It's around 2.8 years. The main issue, uh, the only issue in my opinion is this uh, torch uh, which is now suffering from brown jelly disease. I already lost one torch here. I mean, again, uh, Another torch head finally is coming to its end and the brown jelly is visible. It's been there since I think last year. I frag and then they survive for a while and again they become infected. Um, this is my oldest coral. Um, I had it since last three years approximately and I have been uh, fragging it but uh, off uh, late I've seen that frags also um, don't survive more than three months it's a very slow uh, dying you can say and in the end the tissues get um, weathered away um, and the brown jelly is obvious so this is what I am going to show you how I have uh, I will treat this torch now so if you can see I have uh, iodine solution which is basically iodine and uh, I have uh, ciprofloxacin and then I have a capsule of amoxil and um, then I have vibrant and revive. I forgot to mention another uh, type of baths if you like to give is basically potassium chloride and iodine. <coughs> this Potassium chloride uh, I have tried earlier and has been very useful as well. The first bath initially that I gave was potassium chloride three vials into the same amount of water and also iodine uh, after some time. And I have observed that with potassium chloride a jelly sort of stuff was evidently visible within one minute. And when I rinsed the coral it just flew away out of the uh, uh, torch which to me was brown jelly so this two, these two things are uh, a separate bath and uh, antibiotic bath is separate initially I did three baths of three days continuously with potassium chloride and iodine um, half an hour of total bath rinse and put it back there and after a few days <coughs> I decided to give a, a antibiotic bath as well now I must uh, mention that it is amoxicillin which basically uh, breaks the bacteria and and it is the ciprofloxacin which to my reading uh, keeps also affects the bacteria kills it and then it also helps in um, preventing the bacteria to retake the torch hole. Basically it's the Arcobacter that is the cause of the uh, <coughs> brown jelly disease and as far as my reading on Reef to Reef and other uh, forums are. So uh, this is the total um, uh, two baths that I have explained. Now what I am going to do first of all I will uh, Put this uh, I've already made a solution of this ciprofloxacin one tablet 500 mg into 50 ml of um, RO water and then I have uh, refrigerated it and let me show you uh, this is that solution and uh, that I'm going to use first of all I'll uh, put this solution into uh, the around half a gallon not even half a gallon around a liter of uh, tank water with torch in it then I'll put some powder from Amoxil just a pinch into it and I will leave that torch for about an hour uh, inside mug over here in my cube because it is light sensitive so it will stay here in the bath for at least one hour let me show you 
okay so you can see that uh, this is the um, going to be the fourth bath uh, basically there are five baths total involved and uh, first second and third bath are given daily for one hour and uh, in the end you have to give change the water uh, rinse it and then put revive in it before uh, putting it back into the tank uh, then you observe as I have seen the torch is in much better condition as uh, compared to what it was it was completely shrinken in a guest of one to two days and uh, this is how I am going to do it in front of you Uh, the uh, dose which uh, people mention is basically 5 drops but I have used more and I wanted to see uh, the effect because then the learning part does not occur. So this is how I am going to uh, rinse it. So with a turkey baster I am going to mix it. And then I will add uh, this uh, capsule of a mozzarella. Let me show you with the other hand. So this is the pinch that I am going to drop inside. And then So I'll just uh, try to mix it so that the powder gets mixed a bit and uh, there's no hard and fast rule, uh, rule how much and how little. Um, generally it is uh, mentioned about 5 ml, uh, 5 uh, drops but I am using 5 ml of uh, ciprofloxacin and a pinch of amoxicillin. Now I'll just hang this uh, mug here into the tube uh, right, so that it doesn't uh, get uh, temperature shock and we'll leave it here for at least one hour. Then I'll show you what next I'll do after one hour. Now uh, after 40 minutes if you can see the lights are off because uh, ciprofloxacin is light sensitive. Now. I'll take it out. And put it here with fresh tank water. I forgot to mention that I had added a few drops of vibrant as well in it in the end, but I forgot initially. Now I'll take it and then I'll put it here. And now it's time for a revive. <clears throat> I add just a little of revive. With turkey basture, I'm going to mix it <clears throat> and I'll put it again for 10 to 15 minutes, maybe 10 minutes maximum. Back there so that temperature is not affected. So, this is uh, the final uh, of this fourth bath today, and now I'll show you <clears throat> the next day how the torch will uh, uh, behave and uh, what are the uh, what's the outcome okay gentlemen this is the next day of the bath you can see 
um, the state of the torch it is uh, much better looking and it is uh, extended with polyps tentacles you can say yesterday because uh, I just wanted to observe it uh, because it was fluffy doing fine so I thought let me paint it a bit and uh, just wanted to share how the antibiotic has helped the coral to revive <clears throat> hopefully you have uh, liked the video and uh, don't forget to subscribe uh, because um, this is going to be connected reef keeping see you soon Allah face bye